Hi guys, it's Dr. Lion 70 here. This time we're gonna be doing a uh, we're gonna be talking about hexadecimal number conversion. So to start off, we're gonna be carrying from hexadecimal to decimal. Which, for example, you want to convert let's just say one a to to a decimal number. Which do here you can use you can use the expand strategy, which is which is something like this. Since we're using uh, a hexadecimal, it's gonna be base number a sixteen. Okay, basically how this works is that your first digit is always gonna be to the power of zero. And then your second digit is gonna be power of one, your second your third digit will be power of two and etc. It always starts at zero. And which that's gonna be always equal to one. And since we're using hex hexadecimal, remember that it goes from zero all the way to F, which F will be fifteen. And A that's ten. Then B is eleven, C is twelve. And D is 13, E is 14. So this is 1 times 16. 10 times 1. Because it's, or any number to the power of 0 is going to be 1. Then 16 plus 10. 26. And then that's your decimal number. Okay, now let's, now let's just convert from from decimal to hexadecimal. So let's just, um, how about we get 30? So you're gonna be divided by 16, which it can only be once because times 2 is gonna be 32. Then your remainder goes last, and then, then your expo and then your product, no, your remainder first, and then your product last. If it's if it's can be divided by sixteen, you can do it again. So if it can, uh, fourteen is e by the way. Okay, now now what about we convert from hexadecimal to binary? Well, here's method one. You could convert. Um, let's just use the same number again, which is one a to the sixteen power. You could convert by using this again, which you're gonna get twenty six. Then you find then. Then you can use the table to convert to binary. Then we have ten left, then there we could have eight and two. So then that's your binary number. Like you're basically uh, finding which one's the, it's like the, the highest number, which in this case is, is 16. Then you put one, you subtract 16, then you have 10 left, which is eight and two. So that's one method. Now here's another way uh, of actually doing it. Another way is that you convert directly um, to the binary number. Since we have a hex hexadecimals are like four binary digits. Which I would say, uh, never mind. Okay. And remember that A is 10. So that would be 8 and 2, which is the 10. Then 1 is just this one. So you have these binary digits in which you could put them together to the to into an eight digit binary binary digit. They still give you the same answer. Okay next we're gonna be showing how to convert from binary to hexadecimal number. So this is uh let's just use this binary. So 
So as you hear, you get, remember that hexadecimal digit is four binary digits. So you're going to be divided into four different sets. Then you, then you put them into these tables I showed you earlier, like that one right there. These are all zeros, so it's going to be zero. There's eight, four, two. Because you only add the ones uh, uh, here. The zeros, you just don't do anything. So that's your hexadecimal. It's just E. Okay, now what about we have, it's like a three hexadecimal digit, like one C three. Basically, it's just like you just have three of these. C is a 12, then you have 3. And like that, you could just, you could just still put them together. You'll have a really long dust, uh, binary number. Now what about we have like a 9 uh, binary number, like a 9 digit, like I, did, like I talked about earlier. Like that we're gonna be doing by fours. Now for for if you have like an extra, you just add zeros. And then again you're just gonna be doing a four two one. Your hexadecimal digit is a hundred and and ten. So yeah, so whenever you have an extra, you just add zero to the front. Well, that's all we we. So I hope that's all for today for the tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and may God bless you all.